as you saw all those pictures, this video is all about symmetry. So symmetry in this video, we're going to learn three different things. So one is to find the line of symmetry of an object. One is to find the rotation order. So these ones are all symmetry. And lastly, once we have the rotation order, how do we determine the rotation angle and what is the rotation angle? So there are three things in this video. Uh, symmetry is really cool because, I mean, you don't really, really realize it, but basically a lot of the things that we see, cool designs or uh, more like a relaxing design, they're all symmetrical. So if you look at buildings, um, houses, um, architecture, um, in biology, animals, they all are sort of symmetrical because it sort of makes sense to be symmetrical. So how do we determine what line of symmetry is and what is exactly line of symmetry? So line of symmetry, um, another word for it is your line of reflection. Basically the simple concept of line symmetry is a line that is reflected over a reflection. So if imagine if you're looking into a pond or if you're looking in a mirror, that is the reflection. Just like how this line is a line that is reflected over reflection. The line of symmetry is this line that goes, that splits it in half. Basically top and the bottom are reflected. And there are a couple, uh, three different lines of symmetry or there could be more, but these are the three essential lines of symmetry. You can have your horizontal that goes left to right. You can have vertical that splits it and up and left, uh, up and down. And oblique, which is just really um, any diagonal line. So if we were to look in a line uh, in different shapes here, let's look at the first shape. This is your square. So if we were to draw a line of symmetry, a line of reflection for this one, we have to figure out basically if we were to fold along this line, do you have two equal sides? Well for a square, yeah you do because you can put a line down this straight down the middle. Well I'm trying my best to draw this straight but this left side if you were to fold this along the line it will match up onto this one. That's what a line of symmetry is. So that's one and we can also find another one right across to have a horizontal one. So that's another one. And because this is a square all the sides are exactly identical we can have an two oblique ones so that one that goes diagonally across and we can also have one that goes diagonally across. That's just like folding origami. Um, you can probably envision this and see this that if you fold along the diagonal line you can have two equal sides. So that's a, a sort of a simple example of a square. So this one would have one line of symmetry, two, three, and four. We don't count the bottom one because it's exactly the same line as the first one. So this one has four lines of symmetry. Going to this shape, it's a heart. So if we were to look at a heart, how many lines of symmetry would we have? Can we divide this heart horizontally? Well this and this part won't match up to here because you have a pointy end. Um, for this heart, you basically have just one line of symmetry in which is, I'm sure you saw this, straight down the middle like a broken heart. So the left side, if we fold along this middle line, you have the right side. This part is reflected, you can have this side. So basically if you go along here, fold along this line, you will have exactly the same. So that's the heart. You have one line of symmetry. What about this shape? Oh, it's a pentagon. It has five different shapes. So um, the first one I can see, since these are all geometrical shapes, I can go and do this one straight down the middle. It looks pretty ref um, good because you have a point here, you have a point here at the same distance from the line. You have a point here and you have a point there, same distance from the line because the line is the reflection line. Can we have any more? Can we have one that goes completely horizontal? No, you can't because if we were to draw a line that's completely horizontal like this, well, this point, if we were to reflect it along this line, it'll just be around here because that's the distance, right? If we were to reflect this point, it'll go somewhere here. So then that wouldn't work. Let's see if I can erase this line. There we go. Another line of reflection is we're going to look at the points. Since we have five points in this pentagon, I'm going to go and make one right across. Oh, that was not straight. Let me draw that again. Go across. That's one because we're reflecting along this line. So we're folding along that line. So this point will get reflected to this point 
this point will get reflected to that point and yeah I guess that works out so since we can we have a geometrical shape we have five points we're gonna go and find the other shape oh that should have been a little bit better let me see if I can just move this line a little bit more like that and um, that's one and then we can have maybe here we have another and then we have one final one that goes here that basically you're going through all the points so you have one two three four and five do we count this one no because it is, is exactly the same as this straight line that which we counted for number one so for a pentagon five points we have five lines of reflection let's see what we have down here well we have a triangle so in the triangle let's see what we have well because it has three points we're gonna go there's one that's not really straight down but we are gonna just imagine that it did and another another so that's one two three so three points three lines of reflection what about this one? Oh, this one has one two three four five six sides so you can probably guess that because it has a it's a six-sided shape we're gonna have six different um, angles of reflection let us see if that is the case so there is one and then we have one right across the straight edge not the point so I'm gonna tackle all the ones on the straight edge so it's now we're we have reflected all through the straight lines we can go through the pointy side so the point to point there's the point to point and then point to point so let's count one two three four five and six that is agreeing to what we have so there are six lines of reflection so far so good and last one is a star so we you can sort of guess already that, that this one's gonna have that's one and then you're gonna have two um, go through this point that's three and four and five so because there are five well five um, sort of arms you have five lines of reflection so that's it that's your lines of reflection pretty straightforward just imagine it. can you look at a shape and fold it um, next part we have to look at is um, lines of reflection don't necessarily have to reflect in the shape if we were to say that we're gonna take this shape this rectangle and reflect it along the y so right here this is y is equal or x is equal to zero sorry we're going to reflect it along this line where is this shape going to be on this side so in order to do a line of reflection accurately on the graph we have to count the number of spaces this shape is away from the line of reflection remember we're reflecting it along this line so if we were to fold along this line where would this rectangle be so it's sim simple how many boxes are you away from the line of reflection there's one box two and three so that means on the other side you have one two and three so this is going to be the edge this is that's where that corner is and then where is this corner well we're one two three four five away from the line so it has to be one two three four five so it's right here so that's the other edge then we go here this is one two three so that means we go one two three like that and then lastly the other one you can figure it out by counting one two three four five this is one two three four five that's how you figure out line of reflection on the graph paper if the line of reflection is not on the shape then if it's on a graph that's how you calculate it